Hello, Jennifer Blanchard here. I'm a real estate agent with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, New Jersey Properties. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is about the market. So here's what's going on in Basking Ridge specifically, and then I'm gonna branch off and talk about the, the broader market. So right now we have only 68 properties on the market for sale. You may say, hmm, okay, what does that really mean? Well, I've been selling real estate in Baskin Ridge since 2002. And on the regular, our inventory has been, I've seen as high as 95, 125, 167. I remember there was one year where we were seeing inventory over 200 properties on the market at the same time. Now, you probably understand what supply and demand is and how the balance of supply and demand impacts the market and pricing. So when there's not a lot of houses on the market and there are a lot of buyers on the market, seller has control, right? That's the kind of market we're in right now. So let's talk about the buyers in Baskin Ridge. I just said there were 68 properties on the market currently. There are 45 single family homes and 23 condos. Now in the last 30 days, and that information is important because it's gonna show you how long it would take to sell all 68 homes based on how many sales there were last month. So overall, we had 30 buyers go under contract, 30 contract sales in the last 30 days. That's 2.3 months of inventory. So if there's always 30 contract sales every month and there's always 68 houses on the market, consistently it would take 2.3 months to sell the entire inventory. Single family homes, 45 of them, there were 17 sales. That's a 2.7 month of inventory. 23 condos, 13 sales. That's not even two months, 1.8 months of inventory. Five to seven months of inventory is a balanced market, just to give you an idea of where we're at. Five to seven months is a balanced market. We are under 2.7 months in all of those categories. Overall 2.3, single family 2.7, Condos 1.8. There are more buyers than there are sellers in today's market. We don't even really expect that to change. So let's back that up a little bit. Appreciation or um, absorption rates, those numbers that I just shared with you, they impact appreciation. So you also probably know that COVID, the pandemic, has fueled the real estate market over the last 18 months. July 2021, our appreciation in house prices year over year, and this is global, not global, but national year over year, there are three, I have three numbers from three financial institutions that track this information. The Federal Housing Finance Agency House Price Index, 19.2% appreciation year over year. CoreLogic, 18% appreciation year over year. The S&P Case-Shiller National Home Price Index, 19.7% appreciation year over year. That's incredible. Now, if you're waiting, if you're a buyer and you're waiting for the market to slow down and you're thinking, I just can't pay these prices, I'm going to wait, you're going to be waiting a long time. Because even as we correct a little bit or normalize a little bit, all of the appreciation is based on the year before information. So I just said nationally, the numbers were just over 19%, right? So year over year. So if we just look at where we are year to date, we're at an 11.7% increase in price, housing prices. If we look at what is being predicted, it does come down. We're looking at 5.8 in 2022, 3.9 in 2023, 3.5 in 2024, 3.5 again in 2025. If you look at that in the aggregate, right, cumulative, that's 32% of an increase in property values predicted through 2025. So, what does that really mean as a buyer? Let's say you bought a house for $350,000. Now in Baskin Ridge, that's a condo. So let's just say you bought a condo for $350,000 last January, January, 2021. And you hold on to that property through January, 2026. What do you think that property is going to be worth in 2026? 
I'll tell you. It's going to be worth $461,285 if we calculate based on what we know today. That means that if you purchase a home for $350,000 in the next five years, you will have earned $111,000 of equity. Now, if that's not a vote for home ownership over rent, I'm not sure what is, but I'll give you another explanation. When you buy a house and you pay your mortgage, you take out a 30 year fixed rate loan or a 15 year fixed rate loan, whatever. This example is using fixed rates. You take out a fixed rate loan, your mortgage payment is not gonna change. You're gonna pay the same on day one for your first mortgage payment than you will for your last mortgage payment. Now let's pretend you don't have a mortgage and you're renting. You sign a lease every year, a renewal every year or every two years or whatever it is, that payment could go up. So now you're paying more for your housing. Whereas if you had a mortgage, you're kind of hedging your bets against inflation because your payment doesn't change. So if you're thinking, gosh, the, the um, prices are too high, I can't buy right now, buy next year, my advice not to do that. Now is always better than later because we just don't ever always really know what could happen. So that's that. That's it. That's it. That's everything I have to say about what's going on in the market today, October 2021, and what might be coming down the pike as we're looking at the future. If you have any questions, please give me a call. I would love to talk with you.